Welcome to Five a Day with Jay. I am your host, J.R. Murdoch. Oh, what a day. It's been a rather long day, and it all started with setting the clock back one hour. So instead of waking up at the time I thought it was, it was an hour off. Of course, the dogs don't know that the time changed, so of course they wake up at the same time they normally do. Eh, no problem. Got up, got busy, did a little reading, uh, watched a couple YouTube videos. We spent the day away from the house all day. It was nice. We went out for brunch at a restaurant that had some good isolation, so we were separated from people. Wonderful meal. Had a good time, just uh, the missus and I and my sister-in-law. We went to Balboa Park, which was not busy at all compared to the way it normally is. Uh, normally, it's almost impossible to find a parking spot. It was nice to go head down there, just walk around for a little bit. We met up with one of my other sister-in-laws and two of her grandkids. Had a great time with those two kids. They're, <laughs> they're nuts, as kids tend to be. We went to my father-in-law's house after that, uh, all of us, and my favorite daughter joined us later on while we were over there. She was going to make pumpkin cookies, but she didn't. She didn't have time to make the cookies. So we didn't get any pumpkin cookies, but I've already tried them, and oh, the pumpkin cookies are amazing. Absolutely amazing. We wound up staying there. We just got home it's later in the evening, and then guess what? Today is November 1st. Today is the beginning of NaNoWriMo. Today is the day when you start writing, if you're competing in NaNoWriMo, 1,667 words per day, every single day. Well, guess what? I did that before we left. That's right. I got up this morning, and after I did some reading, and everyone was awake, got the computer fired up, opened up Scrivener, just started typing. I had a vague idea how the giant robot planetary competition was going to start. This is book three. So I already know the characters. I already, I did some rereading. That's actually this is the reading I was doing. Uh, I was rereading the last uh, couple of chapters in the GRPC book. I did go back and just kind of skim a few chapters, get some of the details in my head, get some of the characters back in my mind and just kind of cycled through. I've already done a pretty hard edit on that book, uh, so I've already gone through it. I just wanted to touch through the last chapter and get the feelings back in the head. And of course, the way I end one book and start the next book, usually a few months have passed. That's where I started GRPC book three. Uh, this one is going to be Champion. So the first book is Orphan. The second book is Villain. The third book is Champion. Having a great time writing the book already. And I sat down, started writing. It was an up-down kind of a morning because we were going to get ready to go. Had to get up, get ready, help the missus with a couple of things. Did a couple loads of laundry. You know, the basic stuff, household stuff. The dishes need to be done. They don't do themselves, even if you have some writing to do. So... It was nice to sit down and do some writing, and I got just over 800, 1,800 words written today, so I'm slightly ahead. I know that's not going to last. This week, every day this week, I'm probably going to have to sit down and write 3,000 words a day minimum just to get ahead because next week I will actually not be able to write. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do five a day with Jay. We will find out next week when that happens. If that happens, if I can keep up, hopefully I can, hopefully I'll be able to do it. I, as I said, I don't know at this time. Um, we'll see if I miss next week, I miss next week. And that's why I plan to sit down and do some extra writing this week. But NaNoWriMo is your chance to do your creative, creative thing. Even if you don't make the goal of 50,000 words, it's about trying. It's about getting started. It's about getting over that anxiety and having a deadline set in front of you. Some people need that pressure. They need that deadline. They need something to drive them forward. And that's the whole point of NaNoWriMo. Even if you don't start on day one, again, this is November 1st. I'm recording this. Uh, tomorrow's November 2nd. If you didn't start and you want to start, do it. Even if you start on day two, just break down the number of words per day you need to do for the rest of the month. 
Again, the goal is 50,000 words over the course of 30 days. Yes, Thanksgiving falls in there. Yes, there's holidays. A lot of people have family in town. A lot of people have other obligations happening. Black Friday happens, Cyber Monday, all these other events are going on. The point of doing it is to get into the habit of sitting down every single day and writing. Much like doing this video series for me. It's about getting in the habit of sitting down and doing something every single day. Again, next week is going to be a different kind of week. And I will endeavor to record. I don't know if it will happen or not. We shall find out together, won't we? If you're in the future and I didn't do this, you'll already know. Uh, if you're watching this video as I record it, tomorrow's a mystery. Go out and do something creative. Have fun. NaNoWriMo is about relaxing your mind and letting yourself create. Go out there, do something wonderful. This has been 5 a Day with Jay. I'm Jerry Murdoch. Obviously more about me, jerrymurdoch.com. Thank you for joining.